The last weekend in July, 10,000 people gathered in Thief River Falls, Minnesota to celebrate the start of Articat 50 years earlier. It was a fabulous party with fireworks, live music, autograph sessions, a swap meet, and more. But for me and many others who were there, it was really about celebrating some of the great machines the factory has punched out. Here's some video I shot while stumbling around Thief River. You're looking at a line of Articat snowmobiles that was never built. At the end of 1981, Articat went out of business, but not before they had several 1982 models queued up and ready for production. Collector Tom Rowland was able to collect these five and preserve a little bit of important history. Back when Edgar and his team called the company Polar Manufacturing, they started out with model 100. This is model 200, the 1962 model. Soon thereafter, they became Articat. Model 200, like a lot of the very first models at Articat, was a rear engine design. What was the norm back in those days? This is a 1965 Articat Tomcat. It's when two strokes found their way to Articat snowmobiles. For all the snowmobiles that Articat has produced over the year, probably most people are connected to the Kitty Cat. That's how most of us started out riding. Not every snowmobile here on display in Thief River Falls this weekend is an Articat, but this is pretty much an Articat. It's a 1966 J.C. Penny Foremost, and it was produced here in Thief River Falls for J.C. Penny's. The El Tigre was an important line for Articat, and this collector has amassed quite a collection. 73, 74, 75, 6, 7, wrapping all the way around to 1981. Also in Thief River Falls was the ultimate line of snowmobile dragsters, the Boss Cats. These were speedrun sleds made for one thing, recording a big number in a hurry. Start out with the original Boss Cat with a King Cat 800 motor in it. That got into the 120s. Things got a little bit crazier when they started opening the engine rules. This had a 327 Chevy engine in it. It was good. 168 miles per hour. Boss Cat 3 combined four Articat 650 engines. It doesn't look or even really act anything like the modern personal watercraft, but Articat's wet bike had a unique following back in the 1970s. Also built other machines like this quad track, a 1978 vehicle. And what little kid didn't want a mini bike when he was growing up? For a while in the early 1970s, Articat produced these wonderful little motorcycles. An Articat lawnmower, bicycle, and that's the Bugovac back in the background. They were more than just a snowmobile company, they had to be to survive. It's not just the old stuff that's on display, we've got some modern race sleds here. That's Blair Morgan's number 7C back when he started on Articat. Up a little Brian Sturgeon action for you, the famous oval racer. And bringing us to King Kirk Hibbert. 